This video will demonstrate how to use side reference with the new Headshot plugin for Character Creator 3. Headshot creates models automatically from single front face photos, which can be fine tuned using morphs, procedural texture masking and blending, as well as reprojection of the original photo mapping. If you also have a side face photo of the subject, you can use this as reference to make an even more accurate model. Just the same as when polishing a headshot model by alignment to the original front face image, you can also align the model to a side face image at the same time. There are a number of ways to do this in Character Creator 3. The latest program update already provides a method for using image layers and image claims as overlays for model reference. And to use them, you can simply right click and drag an image into the current Character Creator scene. This allows you to choose whether to use an image plane or an image layer. The difference being that image layers are effectively locked to the camera, whilst image planes are free. You can then change the opacity of the image and adjust it to fit the model. So, simply right clicking and dragging in an image to use as an image plane or an image layer provides alternative approaches for reference. But another is using preset image planes and cameras which ship with the Headshot plugin. You'll find these in the content directory, camera and prop folders. Here, from the camera folder, I'm loading a camera preset for a left side view of a headshot generated male model. And from the prop folder, I'm loading the corresponding image plane. Now, it's important to realize that these presets are simply based on average rather than precise camera views. But if you have the original camera information, just as with the frontal view in headshot itself, you can set up side as well as angled reference cameras using the real-world camera information if you wish. And with the preset image plane loaded, you can bring in the side face photo by first sending the template image to an external image editor such as Photoshop, then copying in the side face image and transforming it to fit. And once this is saved, it reloads automatically back into the reference plane in Character Creator. And by first reducing the image opacity, and then adjusting the plane to best fit the headshot generated model, you're ready to start using side reference for alignment. Now, just as with frontal alignment using Pro Mode in headshot itself, side face alignment involves using the headshot morphs to reshape the face and head to best match the photo. And of course, this takes more or less time depending on how accurate you need to be. So I'm speeding up the video to give you a clearer idea of how the match is improving. And switching back to headshot photo alignment, which you can do at any time, please note that whilst I've already made some significant changes to the depth of the facial features, these haven't affected the frontal alignment at all. So now I'll select the original camera preset again to return to side alignment. And the reason why working on the profile like this isn't affecting the front face alignment is that headshot's depth morphs as well as its angle morphs which primarily affect the profile view, have been designed just like the other transform based morphs specifically for photo modeling, so that in the case of depth, they only affect the depth of the model. Now, aiming for less or more accuracy, you can spend as little or as much time as you wish, but even if you're aiming for absolute accuracy and spend hours getting the alignment just right, it's worth considering just how long it might take to build this model manually or how much time it would take to prepare a model like this, which is animation ready from original scan or photogrammetry data. And it's also worth noting that for side face alignment or for front face alignment in headshot itself, you're not restricted to using morphs alone to reshape the mesh. You can also use Character Creator's mesh editing tools as I'm doing here to help get an even closer match with the shape you're aiming for. So between morphs and mesh editing, in terms of accuracy, you really can go as far as you wish with Headshot and Character Creator. And including creating the original model with Headshot Pro, as well as this side face alignment, it's taken me less than a couple of hours to get this far, and there's still room for further improvement, even to the point of aiming for scan level accuracy, which can be achieved by measuring the model using the grid approach, which is also provided in the Headshot Reference Prop folder. Thanks for watching.